In this section of the program, we are going to attempt to create a definition of who is and who is not a fiduciary. Some of the dimensions are legal in interpretation. Others are more regulatory foundational definitions. But let's try our best. So who is and is not a fiduciary? Well, first, who is a fiduciary? Any individual or entity that has control over the plan's assets or controls over the administrative decisions governing the plan. So control over the assets or control over the administration. So the plan sponsor is certainly a fiduciary, whether it be an individual company or multi-employers in a Taft-Hartley plan that would have a joint board of trustees. They're both fiduciaries. So would any named plan investment committee be considered a fiduciary? The named plan administrator or an administrative committee, they're fiduciaries. But so are the investment managers, whether they be a bank or an insurance company or a registered investment advisor. They are not only considered fiduciaries, but we would want to see written acknowledgement by that firm of their acceptance of delegation to them of their investment responsibilities. The trustee of the plan is a fiduciary. So who is not a fiduciary? The record keeper that maintains the participant records if that's all they do. The custodian of the plan assets, assuming that institution is not also trustee or investment advisor, but a pure custodian is not a fiduciary. And so is anyone else providing, let's call them ancillary services, like a consultant, an accountant, those parties, a lawyer, those parties are not considered fiduciaries to the plan. But that still is a wide net thrown by the regulations to get people included as a fiduciary. And all those people we mentioned as being a fiduciary are held to those four governing standards. The exclusive purpose rule, the prudent expert rule, the requirement that we diversify, and the requirement that we comply with both the documents and the federal law. That's something to keep in mind when we're talking about what are the duties of a fiduciary. But I would say more globally, and with less specificity, I would say to act exclusively in the participant's best interest is a generic term we would all be well served to understand.